And now the former president is set to head back on the campaign trail, holding a rally in Wisconsin next week. 538 Politics podcast host Galen Druk joins me now for more on that. Galen, how could these legal battles affect Trump's campaign? There are two ways in which they could affect Trump's campaign. The first is, although the former president has suggested that these cases may actually improve his support amongst the public, Polls do not bear that out. According to recent polling from Politico and Ipsos, more than twice as many American voters said they would be less likely to support the former president if he is convicted in the Manhattan trial compared with more likely. So what that all means is we are now in a general election environment. When we were talking about just Republican primary voters, they may have rallied to his side in his defense when he was indicted and throughout the primary campaign. But when we're talking about a general electorate, these cases, a potential guilty verdict, and just the specifics of it, you know, hush money to a porn actress, aren't the kinds of things that you want front and center in the news when you're running for president. Now, former President, uh, excuse me, President Biden and former President Trump are now also squaring off over health care, with President Biden saying that Trump wants to terminate the Affordable Care Act, and former President Trump saying he wants to make it better and a lot more affordable. Is this going to become a major campaign issue? What are voters saying in terms of how important this is on their list? These are really good questions, Diane. I'll say first and foremost, when you ask Americans what's the most important issue facing the country today, the percentage who say it's health care is in the single digits. The most important issues are issues like immigration and the economy that are closer to 30 percent of Americans who say those are the most important challenge. But what I think you're seeing here is Biden and Democrats are trying to pick a fight with Republicans and Donald Trump on the issue of health care because it is an issue where they are trusted significantly more by the American public. So we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the passage of the Affordable Care Act, at least Democrats are. Back when it passed, it wasn't popular. Most Americans said they didn't want the Affordable Care Act. It was quite Act. a battle to get it passed. It was quite a battle to get it passed today. 60% of Americans or more support it. So this is a fight that Democrats actually want to have, whereas 10 years ago, they were running away mm. from it, trying to create some distance between themselves and Obama or the Affordable Care Act. Today, Biden is very clearly trying to pick a fight with Trump on this issue. All right, 538 Politics podcast host, Galen Drew, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.